Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hollyana and today we're propagating succulents. Let's do it! I'm brand new to the world of plants and I had never heard of propagating succulents until maybe two weeks ago. I became completely obsessed with the idea and now I'm so excited to attempt to propagate our own succulents. The definition of propagation is the breeding of a specimen of plant or animal by natural process from the parent stock. So basically, basically kind of what that means is, have you guys ever seen somebody take a plant, cut it, take the plant cutting, put it in water, and it grows its own roots? Then you take the plant with the roots and plant it into soil and you get a second plant? That's propagation. It turns out you can do the same thing with succulents leaves. Whenever you propagate a succulent, you'll actually be taking off one of the leaves by slowly bending it back and forth until it comes off, just like that. And once you have your leaf, there are a bunch of different ways that you can propagate. You can propagate by lying your leaf on soil. You can propagate by just leaving it in the air. You can let it propagate by putting it over top of water. And eventually, and eventually, let me show you kind of what will start to happen. Eventually, do you see how this leaf has a second tiny little plant baby coming off of it? That will start to happen with all of the leaves that we are going to be propagating. Like I said, this is my first attempt ever at propagating succulents. So what I'm going to do is I have this, this little, I don't know, table tray that has a hole for drainage. I have succulent soil mix. So we're going to be filling this up and we are going to be taking all of our succulent leaves and placing it around this tray and leaving them and letting them propagate. These are the little succulents that I bought recently at Lowe's. I tried to buy ones that I thought other people wouldn't want. Kind of like how this one has kind of a spot over here and then it's got another big thing coming off over here. We're gonna cut this guy off and put him in a pot by himself and then we're gonna take these leaves and try to propagate them. I got a couple really tall ones, kind of same thing here. We're gonna cut off the little guys on the sides, little guys on top and give them their own pots and then we're gonna take all the leaves from the sides and attempt to propagate them. And this one, I think since it, it does have a lot of little spots on it, I think this one we're gonna just take all of these leaves and propagate them. So if you are looking in the succulent section of a Lowe's, of a Home Depot, of a Walmart, wherever they sell succulents, pro tip to get some free plants. You can actually pick up the fallen succulent leaves off of the floor. Now do not pull them off, don't pull them off of, of the plants. But, but look around the plants, look at like the edges. There might be a thing kind of, you know, like this, and maybe there's one just, just sitting where obviously it's fallen off. You can take them, because they're just going to rot, they're just going to die. You can take them and you can propagate them. So, um, I had a pretty good haul the past couple days. Let me show you all my leaf babies. I did find a couple that I think are probably too far gone. I think those are probably dead. I've got some that have little spots, but I think that's okay. We're still gonna attempt it. I found a lot of little ones. A lot of littler ones. And I did find a couple bigger ones, but I'm not sure if these fully broke off the right way or not. So it's time, it's time to start breaking off our little succulent leaves and putting them in the pile with the other succulent leaves, and then we will place them all on our soil in our tray pot. Like I said, I am brand new to this world of plants and succulents, and we're just trying it and gonna see what happens. I will say, from watching so many videos and reading a lot of articles, a lot of people let their succulent leaves completely callous over before laying them on the soil. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to break them off and lay them all in the soil because some people say that they do that and that's fine. But I have heard you should not water them until the edges have kind of calloused over. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to be taking off the rest of these little succulent leaves that we wanna propagate and I'm going to be placing them on the soil, but we are not going to start misting them for another two to three days. And once we are misting them, we're going to mist them once every two to three days continuously until they start growing their extra little succulent. And then once the little succulent shows up at the end of the leaf, we will be taking that and transplanting them each into their own individual pots. So now I'm just going to start by twisting back, forth, back, forth until the leaf just pops off. Once 
we're gonna leave this one with this much left and I'm actually going to be cutting it off and giving it its own pot. There we go. With this little guy, we are going to cut off this and cut off the top and cut off this little one down here and give them their own pot. So we're gonna start by doing that and then we'll take the rest and we will get them ready to be propagated. All right. Little tweezers. Let me see, I'm gonna just sit all the ones that are gonna be put into a pot are all kind of gonna go in here for now. So I kind of keep them all out of the way. Here we go. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to take the rest of these and break them off and get them ready to be propagated. Now I'm not sure if the teeny tiny ones will propagate, but we're gonna try it. <laughs> Catherine, what are we doing? We are propagating succulents. So I didn't know that this was a thing until recently, but did you know you can basically break off the leaves of succulents and then leave them on dirt, flat, and then literally a new succulent will grow right here. And then you take that and you plant it in its own individual pot. And then eventually this leaf, which is called the mother leaf, will die and then you have a new succulent. So we're taking four plants and we're turning them into like 100 plants. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go ahead and cut this one out of the soil. Okay, so for this one, I think we can take this part of the plant and give it its own pot completely. So we have that to have its own pot. And then these guys, we're definitely gonna propagate these. These are really big. Last one here, kind of the same deal. We're gonna cut off this little guy over here to have his own pot. And let's cut off the top here. Remove the big ones to propagate. Yeah, there we go. They're gonna be so cute. Now the last thing is to take off these leaves. TikTok Live, I need you guys to help me with something. TikTok Live, are we gonna use the whale, the raccoon, or the, the fox? Whale, raccoon, or fox to start. Catherine says fox, Lucky says fox. We have all for fox, all right. We are going to use fox. TikTok Live has spoken. I think with these little succulent babies, I know I said I was gonna give them all their own home, but I think to start, I think we're actually going to do kind of a little succulent arrangement in, in the fox. Now some people wait a couple days to let them callus over before planting. Some people plant them immediately. We're gonna plant them immediately, but we're not gonna water them. So we are using this miracle Grow succulent potting mix. I will link this on my Amazon. Fill up our little fox. Oops, dropping dirt everywhere. This is why I put down a trash bag. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should put down rocks first. Hold on, we're gonna start over. We're starting over, not completely. We're just, okay, before we put in our <laughs> succulent potty mix, we are gonna be using rocks. I also got these on Amazon, as silly as that sounds. So I will link this on my, my plant section of Amazon as well. Okay, so we're gonna put a few rocks in the bottom. This is to allow drainage because succulents don't need hardly any water. Like literally I've killed almost every succulent I've ever had because I over water. And here's a tip. If it starts looking like this, means you're over watering. That's too much water, I think. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me, but that's what somebody said in a video. Catherine on TikTok Live was asking, how do you know these things? It's all from, from TikTok and YouTube videos. Okay, now that our rocks are inside of our fox, <laughs> that rhymed. We're gonna put in our succulent potting mix. 
succulent potting mix. Okay, almost to the top. Now, I'm going to put in our little succulents. I don't know how many are going to fit in here. I kind of like to put them all in here. Little succulent babies. So you literally just put them in according to the Google and the YouTube and the TikToks. And they will start to grow. Let's make sure they look all cute. And that's what they look like. It's gonna be such a cute little arrangement. And now, for the moment that I've been waiting for, we're gonna fill this up with the succulent potting mix. We're gonna do rocks on the bottom and then succulent potting mix. And then we are going to make a little arrangement with our succulent leaves. I'm so excited. to see my video from Dirt Cheap where I went to the store and I bought a massive shopping cart full of a bunch of different things for $10. This tray was actually in that shopping cart. So I'm glad that I'm finally using it. I always knew that I would find a use for it. And a lot of people use trays like this to propagate succulents because you can like lay out the leaves and make it look all pretty. And I'm very excited. Some people wait until the leaves callus over. Some of mine are callus, some of mine are not. Some people don't wait until they callus over. Once again, if you're doing this yourself, watch more videos than just mine because this is my first time ever doing this. You can also propagate just in the air. Like I could literally just have not filled this up with, with soil at all. I could have just sat all of them in here and they would have propagated. I could have filled this something up with water and put like a plastic wrap on top, chopped a bunch of holes in it and stuck them in that way and it can propagate. A bunch of different ways you can propagate succulents. So. Just do whatever you think that you will have the most fun with. I don't know what kind of design I wanna make. What kind of design should I make? Dirt Cheap does always have something good, I agree. All right, you're making our succulent design. Let's see how many big leaves we have. These are kinda of big. Let's see. So you don't have to make a design with your succulent at all, obviously. Um, I am just going to this one's probably gonna die, let's see. I'm going to, I, I like how the little designs look. You're supposed to cover up the very end a tiny bit with soil and then the roots will go down and then the new little succulent baby will be like right on top. And it takes a long time for these little succulent babies to arrive, so we can't be impatient. Oh, I shouldn't bury them until I know where they're all gonna lay, right? I don't know why I'm using this. People use this to be delicate with them sometimes, but I already have them broken off, so I can probably just go ahead and grab them. I did wash my hands, so. All right. I can do big ones with little ones in between. Maybe like this. What plant is this going to be? These are just different types of succulents, and so we're propagating the succulent, and a succulent prop propagation is basically where you take off a leaf of a succulent and then eventually a new succulent will actually grow off the end. Can you see that? Am I, is it in focus yet? So literally like a new succulent will grow, which is like so crazy cool. And then eventually 
this succulent will get big enough that it can be potted into its own plant, own plant, its own pot, like this. Oops, hello, one just fell out. And then these will grow and then eventually those leaves will fall off and we'll propagate those again. This is how you turn four plants into like 200 plants. So I started with four succulents for this project and we're gonna end up with a ton of succulents. Really excited. So I don't know what kind of succulents these are. This is, <laughs> everyone's gonna laugh. I don't know how to pronounce this. Graptospedum, graptospedum, is that a word? Or maybe that's not actually what the succulent is called. That one doesn't have a tag. And this one, S-E-D-U-M, sedum? I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce these. I'm kind of thinking that we're just gonna slowly go in and we'll just kind of make it almost like a flower look. So we'll do, it's like for the first row and for the second row, we'll take them all slightly in. Getting still kind of the bigger ones. Once again, you don't have to do the pattern, right? The pattern doesn't actually matter, but this is just what I'm excited to do. And the thing too is, it's like, I don't technically even have to transplant these into their own pot. A lot of people will do succulent arrangements like this and let it grow. And then eventually this whole thing will be full of succulents like this. But once again, I literally only found out what succulent propagation was like maybe a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. And this is my first time ever playing around with it. So I don't really know what I'm doing. But as always on this channel, we just like to have fun, to explore new things. I'm gonna have to make it not quite as perfect because we have so many more, oops, so many more to use. So I think I'm just gonna kind of keep going in the circular motion, but just keep filling them in. Cause I mean, they can be really close. Like they can be like laying on top of each other touching according to some of these videos that I've seen. But I think kind of everyone has their own, their own method to the madness. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna go everywhere now with them. Fill in all the little gaps. We have so many left. <laughs> well, Catherine, I didn't even actually see these on, I didn't see this pop up on TikTok. I wanted to start growing succulents and so I searched for it on TikTok. So this wasn't a thing that just came up on my TikTok naturally, even though I am kind of getting more on plant talk. Yeah, this is gonna be so cool guys. We have so many more to try to work in. Let's try to work all of them in. Keep going in our circular motion. I'm so excited. So I have the silliest idea. And tell me if you guys think this is cute or if you think this is just ridiculous. I want, once I have a billion succulents, because in theory, every single one of these is going to be a new succulent. Once I have a bunch of succulents, I have this idea, because I have a, I have like a plant stand on my front porch. I really want to put, get a bunch of these cute little pots, because these are all from the Dollar Tree, so I'm gonna get a bunch of these little pots. <laughs> and I want to sit the succulents outside with a sign for any like delivery drivers and just say like, take a succulent if you want one. <laughs> Is that totally silly or is that like a cute idea? I like, I think it could be really cute. Um, I mean, I know I would like it. I would I would like taking a, a free succulent in a cute little animal container. It'd be super fun. All right, now we just have the teeniest, the teeniest, tiniest babies left. So we're gonna just put these in here too, just in case they grow. I don't know if they'll grow, but we're taking all the teeny tiny babies. This is beautiful, guys. I'm so excited. Look how stinking cute this is. I'm so excited. Okay, you guys do like that idea? Cool. Once I have my little army of succulents, I will definitely do that. I think that would be super fun. Cause I order from Amazon all the time, as you guys know. And I don't know, I think it'd be fun to like put succulents out and if somebody's delivering a package and if they want a succulent, they can take one. All right, we got a couple more that are literally still on here. I kind of mentioned this earlier, you're supposed to let these callus before putting them on, in like the soil or in the water. Some people don't let them callus, some people just go ahead and put them straight on here. I'm just gonna put them straight on here and I'm just not gonna water them for a day or two. 
I don't think I'm gonna attempt actually to plant these two. I just don't, I just, I don't think they're gonna grow. I think they're dead. Now this process takes weeks, but I am going to be updating you guys all the time. Like literally the moment I get a little, a little succulent baby, I'm gonna freak out. I think we're done. I think we're done. Oh my gosh, this is crazy cool. I'm gonna be spraying these little succulent propagations once every two to three days. In a couple weeks, we should start to see our little succulent babies popping up. So hit subscribe if you wanna see how they turn out. I will be posting updates all along the way as we turn four succulents into a whole succulent army.